In this video, we're going to do a deep dive with the Top Down RT Diag Pro together with the Kia Stinger GT. Stay tuned. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Marcus, and this is Tech and Cars. So, in this video, we're going to do a deep dive with the Top Down RT Diag Pro in the Kia Stinger GT. In a previous video, I did a reset of the adaptive values for the gearbox but in this video we're going to take a look at the different modules and the special functions that you have let's go so here's the top down rt diag pro connected to the kia stinger gt the engine is currently running so that we can access all the different modules so as you see we have a lot of different modules here let's go into the tcm And as you've seen in a previous video, I did a reset of the gearbox adapting values. That's the resetting auto TNA values. And you have the other stuff as well. Module information, actuation tests. You can control certain things. So this is a bi-directional scan tool, of course. And let's go back. You have the things like you can read data streams and the fault codes, etc and then you have ECM for example the engine control module there you have some things you can do you can reset adapting values you can do a engine coolant filling mode and let's take the next one here the ABS forward collision avoidance assist let's move into that see what happens you can do a inspection correction of the front radar mounting angle you can also code a variant not really sure maybe that's for different markets ABS special function EC ESC variant coding for example that's the electronically controlled dampers and you have some other things here as well steering angle sensor calibration etc you can always pause the video if you want to view all the special functions on the screen I'm just going to go through this a bit quick here because we have a lot of modules SRS that's the airbag and you have the body control module you have a lot of different things here for example the head up display you can do calibration of the head up display which is pretty nice if you want to do that and you have some other things here as well TPMS wheel sensor ID writing if you're interested in that uh, let's go back to the maybe the wireless power charger let's see what we have there we don't have any special functions there you we can probably uh, check the lead and we can turn this on and off as well instrument cluster special function CLU variant coding not really sure what that is okay let's move into the headlamp system Adaptive front lightning system, maybe. Alright, so here you have special function as well. You can calibrate the headlights and you can do a parameter download. Active hood system. 
not really sure if we have any special function there let's see no we don't all right so maybe the motor driven power steering let's go into that one and have a look We can do a calibration, set the steering field torque to zero, etc. Some stuff there, all right. We have the multifunction camera. We can do a variant coding. We can also do some kind of calibration in here. Blind spot collision, left, right, around view monitor system. Calibration, rear view monitor. Amplifier, so the audio system. Amp operation test, not going to run that now. E call, I'm going to skip that one. I don't have that. E shifter, let's see. No special function here, just actuation test, parking release, actuate control and sleep mode ICCU integrated central control unit let's see what we have in that one special function user option battery discharge warning history check erase network configuration And we have the power tailgate. And we have a special function there. Power tailgate mode configuration. Here you can see some stuff. Uh, the mode. We have something that is called field mode. Not really sure. I'm not going to change anything of this. I'm going to move back. And we have for WD control. So the all wheel drive system. Let's see what we can do there. We have a special function for clutch learning reset, air bleeding mode, adaptive value backup and input. Yeah, some stuff there that could come in handy. And the electronic control suspension, the ECS, ECS. We have a variant coding there. So depending on the market, you need a certain code. I'm not going to change anything of that. So now you've seen all the different modules and you've seen the special functions. Since this is a bi-directional instrument as well, you can toggle things on and off in the car. Let's see what we can do in the driver door module, for example. We can turn the illumination on and off. IBU BCM. Let's see what happens there. User option. Headlamp escort enable. I guess that's keeping the lights on after you leave the car, maybe. That you can change. Cool. Yeah. 
So that's all the modules, guys. Let's wrap this up with a health report to scan the car to see if we have any issues. A lot of different modules. Take some time here. Almost done. There you have it, all good. Yeah, sure, why not, clear code. We don't have any clothes. Okay, time to wrap up the video, guys. So now you've seen the RT Dike Pro in the Kia Stinger GT, all the different modules that we can access and the special functions. I hope you enjoyed this video, and by the way, the Kia Stinger GT in high chroma red look really good in the light. See you next time.